Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to another episode. To another episode. Another episode. Go, go, miss, miss, and legend, and legend, and legend. Are you sitting comfortably? Shall we begin? Today's episode is The Pirate of Burr Island. Now, many of you may know Burr Island from its association with Agatha Christie. Now, Burr Island is a tidal island opposite Big B on Sea. It's in South Devon. Now, being a tidal island, when the tide is out, it's reached by this beautiful long sandbar that you can just trot along and you're there. When the tide is in, you have to access it by a sea tractor. That's a pretty little sea tractor and you sit in it, it takes you across. Now, the main buildings that you know about on Burr Island is the Pilchard Inn and the Burr Island Hotel. Now, this hotel is stunning. It, oh, it's beautiful. It's expensive, but it is beautiful. It was made in 1929 and it's been restored as well. So it, all its Art Deco features, it is like going back to say like an Agatha Christie party. Beautiful. Um, Agatha Christie stayed there a lot. I think her book, and then there were none, is based from like there. Um, and people like me that like Agatha Christie and Marple and Praro may be eagle eyed, eagle eyed, eagle eyed, eagle eyed enough to have seen it was the hotel that Pararo stays in when he has to lose some weight for his heart disease condition when he wasn't feeling very well in Evil Under the Sun and that hotel is Bear Island. Now, it became a haunt of the rich and the famous. You've had Noel Coward, obviously, Agatha Christie, Edward the eighth and wallace simpson and and you know there have been loads of people have stayed there but before all that now this is where my story gets a bit a bit cloudy because the timeline sort of it's a mystery some say it's the 14th century some say the 18th century but anyway in one of those times Burr island which is now spelled B-U-R-G-H, Burr Island, was back then known as Burr Island, B-U-R-R. -R. And it was a known haunt for pirates and smugglers. Now, one of the main pirates that everyone knows about on Burr Island was a pirate called Tom Croker. Now, Tom Croker had quite a good, illustrious career doing what he was doing. And when he wasn't out on the seas, he was known for frequenting the Pilchard Inn. It was his haunt, it was his drinking hole, it was where he planned his various missions, it was his HQ all rolled into one and he really loved it there. So when he wasn't out at sea, he was mostly always found at the Pilchard Inn. Now, around Burr Island, there are two sea caves which are obviously only accessible by the sea, so perfect for pirates and smugglers. And Tom Croker used these caves so much that he gave his name to one. We have Tom Croker's Hole. Now, this cave had a tunnel, and this tunnel led all the way through the cave to the cellar of the Pilchard Inn. But nowadays it's all been bricked up at both ends so you can't see it. And you know, he was happy, jolly, going around his day, doing what he was doing and enjoying himself. But alas, <sighs> things don't always last forever, do they? And the time was up for our Tom, who the revenue men caught up with him and he was executed. Now, some say he was shot in the porchway of the Pilchard Inn and others have said that he was hung. 
Now, people that have been there have said that there is a very melancholy air to this spot. It's got a very, you know, you feel it. You feel it in the field. There's a little sadness around there. And in the Pilchard Inn as well, there is a big granite fireplace that's right near the entrance. And our Tom and the story is so ingrained in like their history that there is a carving of his, him and the exercise man that brought him down. So because it was carved quite a while ago, they're sort of indistinguishable now. You, you can't see, but that's what legend says they are. Now, as I said, it needs to be noted that some have said 18th century. On um, the Pilcher Inn do a menu. They had a menu um, a while back for it's a summer or winter menu and they have the legend of it and they said 18th century and the execution date for him is always the 14th of august so it is the 14th of august but they have the year unknown now other records state that it was the 14th century and the year was 1395 so either or if anyone knows which one it definitely was comment below let me know you know it'd be interesting but those are the two sort of varying things at the minute. But as this is a ghost of myths and legend story, it fits in quite well because he's a legend, but he's also a ghost as our Tom. And every year on the 14th of August, his anniversary of his death, he comes back to visit his stomping grounds. And he's a very mischievous dude with it. He likes to rattle on doors and cause mischief and he plunders all around the island looking for his lost booty and his lost loot. Always coming back, always going to his favourite places and just being a little bit cheeky. But if you want to see if you can catch his ghost, they do a festival for our Tom. Now this festival is held on the 14th of August. I don't know if there's one um lately the last one i think was 2019 obviously we had all the covid i don't know if there's plans for one this year but i'll have a look i'll keep looking because i think it'd be really interesting to go to but yeah they celebrate our, um tom's life they have it's usually hosted by burt island the hotel which is really nice they do um live music and there's family activities and there's like a sort of scavenger hunt for families to go and look for his lost treasure um there's dress up competitions where you can dress up and you can sort of be sailors or scallywags and you know can people differentiate and get prizes for that they do food there's ice creams and there's um food stores and drinks and it's a really nice day remembering a, a moment in their history that they're very proud of that is a big ingrained part of them you know pirating and smuggling is very big around the island and um yeah you know they celebrate him and it's a nice family day and the way that people celebrate him you know you could say it was a scallywag but he doesn't seem to have hurt anyone yeah some pirating yeah some smuggling but everyone on the island seemed to like him you know he was happy and jolly so yeah and maybe he was just a little bit cheeky like his ghost is with his rattling of doors and his going around causing mischief but i think it'd be a cool little thing to go to maybe see if you can see him or hear some rattling doors anyway me hearties i hope you like this little tale and that you want to look more into tom croker or you know more and you can comment below and let me know more um and yeah we'll see if there is a tom croker day festival that's happening now covid sort of well not so on the radar anyway i hope you like this tale once again thank you for checking in for an episode of ghost myths and legends hit the subscribe button to come back for more hit the ding a ring so you can know when i'm doing more and hit the thumbs up if you liked it i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day filled with pirateering some drinking of some rums and some nice food and have a great time here bye my hearties <laughs>